embodying the journey which is that of a lifelong artist, banjoist Kurt Abel has dedicated his life to music and entertainment, bringing the joy of the banjo to countless thousands along the way. While a professional musician of over 50 years standing, his career is as much about who he is as about what he does. That rare breed of performer whose music and instrument become unmistakably reflective of the man himself. Born to two musical buffs from opposite sides of the musical spectrum, childhood saw Kurt learning to appreciate the diversity in music. Having absorbed equal parts of classical and popular music, it was playing the bassoon in his junior high school orchestra which introduced the young musician to the joy of performing. Steeped in the classics, Kurt became a student conductor of the Fresno High School Orchestra and was ultimately awarded a music scholarship to attend California State University. Fate, however, had other plans. When a health complication forced him to forgo his college scholarship, a trip to a local pizza parlor which featured banjo music inspired Kurt. His dreams of becoming a principal bassoonist were quickly replaced with the grandeurs of the banjo, and after less than a year of lessons from Ralph Martin, he was performing professionally as part of Ken Clark's Crazy Horse Review at the Sheraton Hotel in Fresno. Absorbing every nuance of Clark's seasoned and uproarious stage persona, for Kurt, the engagement became a master course in entertaining an audience with both music and laughter. With the lure of a show business career being impossible to escape, Kurt bounced back and forth across the country, performing in both nightclubs as well as iconic banjo parlors such as Ruby Red's Warehouse in Atlanta and the Red Garter in San Francisco. Although he tried to lead a more normal life, marrying and settling down in Fresno, in 1976, an idea hatched with his banjo friend Dave Marty would result in Kurt's most famous endeavor. In the mid-1970s, the gong show had taken the country by storm with its outrageous take on amateur talent contests. While some acts played it straight, it was the zany acts that always seemed to win. It was with this in mind that Kurt Abel, playing Alabama bound on his banjo while hanging upside down dressed as a vampire, became Count Banjola. In addition to making multiple return appearances on the gong show, Abel appeared with the likes of the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band and Cab Calloway on Chuck Barris' Rah Rah television program prior to reprising his Count Banjola role for the silver screen in 1980's The Gong Show Movie. After taking a banjo break in the 1980s to watch his daughters grow, in 1991, Abel joined a California-based jazz band known as the Cell Block 7. As this was his first experience in traditional jazz, Kurt quickly learned the importance of being part of an ensemble rather than a soloist. Embracing his role in the rhythm section, Kurt and the Cell Block 7 became an international jazz phenomenon, delighting gigantic crowds from England to Taiwan during a 1997 world tour. In addition to the Cell Block 7, Kurt kept very busy performing with other groups, including a lively duo act in which he performed with San Francisco artist Big Mama Sue, as well as a banjo trio with Dave Fry and Larry Kennedy known as the Three Plectrums. But the most fun moments of his career came in the late 1990s when Kurt became part of a zany touring jazz comedy quartet known as the Washboard Wizards. After the Washboard Wizards, Kurt went on to perform with the Cats and Jammers Jazz Band, the Creole Jazz Kings, and the Rhythm Knickers, but unfortunately, arthritis prematurely ended his performing career. Although his heart and mind still play the banjo every day, the reality of the lifetime career that Kurt Abel shared with so many has created his one-of-a-kind legacy of dedication to music and the banjo.